Hey, what's up, professionals? It has been a long time since I've been here doing one of these. But I figured I've got almost, probably have over 100 cars at this point, so I figured I would do this before I go through and sell all the stuff I don't want anymore. So, here is going to be the full sharp full car showcase for what is it? Uh, October 2017 because yeah a lot of these cars I'm going to be selling because I don't use them at all I like this one it's an overall nice car I liked how it came out but it just didn't have enough accents to make it stand out among the rest this car no one probably has it no one probably even remembers but it was the original sticker brown car in the 360 I actually liked it so much I bought it here and tried to recreate it but it didn't work quite how I wanted it because I couldn't do the uh, matte pearlescent glitch that they used to have a long time ago they might have it again but I stopped doing that stuff so yeah as yeah and then you move on to the next one which everyone's probably looking at me like why the heck do you have a picador in your garage but hear me out if you're bored and you like running people over use this car. This car is great. If you get him in the... you do it in reverse, you get him to fall into the tailgate, eventually the tailgate fills up with people and the car starts breaking and glitching and everything. This right here is probably one of my favorite cars to have come out in the Sports Classic series because I loved the old Cheetah from GTA was it Vice City and San Andreas and then I went with his nice hot pink and teal paint job to try and match Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Kind of match their scheme, and I'm quite pleased with how it came out. Then over here, we got my Paradox car. Uh, is it the Ocelot? I don't even I don't even remember all the names of these cars, honestly. I've had so many of them that, yeah, a couple of them will escape my mind because I don't remember quite what they are because it was basically buy them, review them, and leave them in my garage. Like this thing. But if you notice I tried to use Paradox colors from Steven Universe, the dark green, the light green, and the yellow. Over here we've got the newest one, what is it, the retinue I think. I believe that's what it's called, I'm not sure. Basically a British version of BMW, I guess? I'm not sure. It looks like a BMW mixed with a Volvo or a VW. But, yeah, I don't know. The car's alright. I like the style of it, but I'm never going to drive it because it's not really that fast. Coming upstairs, if we could possibly get there. All the way over to the last car right here. Yep. It's the last one I have in this garage because, like I said, not everything's full. But, yeah. I will move on and move to the next one right after this. Yeah, I went with the old derby style for this car because I figured why not if you're gonna do it do it like a derby car that way when I beat the crap out of it it looks even better but yeah that's all I've got in this garage so we're gonna be moving on to the next one now right after this car very nice very nice indeed Moving on. Alright, moving on to the next garage. This should be all my sports cars and sedans and stuff. Obviously I have the old school Masakro built up like an, just a regular race car. This car used to be worth it. Used to be so good. And then they just kept burying it with more and more cars. Now it just sits here and gathers dust. This car I do still use, obviously, and if you don't own a Karuma, you should by now because this thing will make your life a million times easier, as long as you're doing like missions and stuff. Don't don't use this around people; they will still blow you up extremely fast. Moving on, we've got the Benny's version of the Elegy, which eh, it, it looks really good, but. It's really not worth it in the long run when you consider how much you're spending on a free car that's still not going to be able to be for sale because it was technically free. So, I don't know. I might keep it. I might sell it. I don't know yet. But moving on, we've got my 770. This car is a beast. I 
still like using it here and there, but only in races. For those situations when they do sports races, I'll take this thing out because, yeah, I've already won probably like 500 plus races with that car alone. So I'm not going to argue with the car at that point. It's definitely earned its keep in my garage and it's earned its keep in the place of cars. Over here, just going to take a quick look. As you can see, I've got a bunch of bikes that are different colored that I shouldn't have probably. But I've had them for so long that Rockstar doesn't care anymore. Uh, we've got the Spectre, which to me basically just looks like an updated version of the 770. And considering it's still a sports car, it basically is. It's like if you bought the 2016 version and then bought the 2017 version. just There's going to be some slight differences. This thing right here, the upgraded Mamba. This thing's crap. Once they gave us the upgrade, it ruined the car, sadly, because I love the Mamba, but the fact that it put this into the muscle class did not help, it's just, or no, I think, it's, I think it's in sports classic class, yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be muscle, and that's where they screwed up, because they put it in sports classic, and there's so many better sports classics. Uh, we've got the Warner, one of my original glitch cars. Don't mind the emblem on the front right now. It's supposed to technically be the IGN logo because, you know, it matches with the red uh, cross insignia and the crosses on the front and the lights and all that. But right now, because I'm in my team, that's that's what it is. But I love this car. If you don't have that car and you need a nice cheap car that you like to drift in, that'd be a good choice. This was probably my favorite car out of, uh, okay, it was a stunt race. Yeah, the stunt race uh, update. This was definitely my favorite car out of that update because it was quick and it gripped like crazy when you got into one of those tubes or whatever. But I don't really do races that much anymore because they all got really lame because people don't have any ideas. So that just sits there and gathers dust too. Now moving on to the next garage. As you can see, this one's not full. I've only got eight sports cars slash sedans at this point. But, all right, we're gonna move to the next garage. This one is truck garage, as you can tell by the ridiculous giant donk that I have sitting here. Yeah, this thing, it was fun for about a day. And then it just sat here because what the heck am I going to do with it? It's not really a hill climber and no one else has one, so we're not going to use it. This is my Dubsta 6x6. This thing is so glitched, I can't even bring it into a pay and spray at this point, which is kind of cool, but obviously I can't sell it then. But yeah, if you notice the paints, the paints are glitched like crazy. There's chromes, there's crew colors, there's pearlescence, there's secondary crew colors. It's, it's a jumble of paint that the game doesn't recognize anymore. So I'm keeping that one, obviously. This, waste of time. This was a huge waste of time and money. Just because of the fact that a dang thing rolls like crazy. Apparently they fixed the fact that it rolled to the left, but doesn't help when the thing still rolls equally as bad on both sides. So that thing's probably gonna get sold. This here was my original baby, which you've probably heard if you've ever seen one of these and you've probably seen the truck already. My original Sand King from basically the first day the game came out. I grabbed one of these out of the street, did it up, and it was the best off-road vehicle since. Because Rockstar doesn't seem to understand how off-road works. Which is obvious when you take a look at this truck on your left. Yeah. This truck easily had the potential to beat the Sand King. It could have been better. It's technically bigger. But you can see the problem right there. They left a giant bumper on it and they forced you to put gas tanks on it. That killed the truck. It made the truck completely useless for what I wanted to use it for. So it's been sitting here forever. It's good for water races, but other than that, it's really useless. But yeah, I did like the truck. I wish they would have just made it so I could remove the gas tanks. It would have made it, you know, worth it to me. Next, we've got the gang burrito all done up in a bright 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 yellow gold and chrome lower down stock uh, muscle rims and uh, yeah 
This was probably the best van they came out with, but the thing that killed it is the fact that it's only two-seater. You're going to give me a full van and I can only fit two people in it. It doesn't make sense. This, I would have to say, was their biggest waste of a van. Unless you really like Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Machine, then you can go alter your crew color slightly and then make the vehicle into the Mystery Machine, but... I would have to say, unless you're doing it for that, don't bother. This thing is so slow and so underpowered that it's literally just a waste of time. And we've got my contender, I do believe that's what it's called, over here with its red rims, red stock rims, because occasionally you can still do that iFruit glitch when it comes to rims on your cars. And this was one of the ones it worked on when it first came out. But I do really like the Contender. It's probably one of the fastest trucks in the game, but... Again, it's too low. I wish it was raised more. I need height on my truck. And here is Trevor's truck. This is back before you could get the one with the teddy bear. Like, this was about the same time. Everyone's like, why don't you have the teddy bear? And yeah, I thought it was kind of disgusting to have a teddy bear with a hole fucked in his face on the front of my truck. So I... Got the regular one, glitched it with the matte paint and the pearlescent, and it ended up turning everything slight green, so I ended up keeping it like that. I thought it looked kind of uh, Jurassic Park worldy. So, next garage. That was my trucks. This one should be, yeah, glitch cars and rat rods, basically. Because, of course, I've got my ratted out tornado, which when you consider, really isn't a rat rod, because all they did was take the front end off. That doesn't make a thing a rat rod. You kind of have to put it together bits and pieces. I've obviously got the classic truck. The old slippy slidey truck that gets nowhere in the snow. Because I remember they gave us this with the, uh, with the slam van. They gave us that with the slam van and the Christmas, and yeah, that didn't go well. Uh, here's my Glitch Rebel. There's really nothing special about it when you think about it now, because it's just clean. But it's the fact of it has no roll cage. Whereas, if you find one or buy one, it does automatically come with a roll cage in the back. And, as you can see, it's not there. So I've had this truck sitting here for a while, just basically building up dust, because no one cares anymore. Obviously, I have the original Roosevelt, because... When you do all these showcases like I do, you buy everything, so certain things that are limited time and certainly very expensive, I just bought them and left them in the back of the garage because I, I already know I'm never going to use it. It's slow as hell. It goes 75 miles an hour max speed, and it's crap. But, of course, if you look to your left, I have the newer version so again it's like the last garage or the two garages ago with the 770 and the Spectre just got them on both sides basically the 26, 2016 model and 2017 model just because I could why not all the upgrades kind of made it look cooler but it's still equally if not more useless than the other one because you're spending more money and you're still not getting anything out of it except a vehicle to look at over here, we've obviously got the Baja truck, which I will admit it is a very good truck, but I don't use it for anything because if I'm off-roading, I'm guaranteed to probably be in my insurgent because the ability to not blow up is a lot better than the ability to climb because all I do is deal with trolls now. Trolls, 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 you think they're hot and they're not. Over here, Obviously, you can see what's different about this one. And no, I did not technically do this myself. Rockstar gave me the truck like this. So I just left it in here, didn't do anything to it. Decided it was kind of cool not having a truck bed. You can also walk inside the truck bed, but I'm not going to do that here because I'm just trying to show off the vehicles. And then you move on down. You've got the, the hot knife the exclusive hot knife that was from 360 exclusive and then they eventually put it out but as you notice there's no hood 
there's no front fenders, and there's no like headlight flares or any of that stuff. All that stuff is gone on this car. And that's what makes it special. So, that's just been sitting here. This thing, the freaking the Rustion, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, this thing was garbage. It's not bad. I mean, overall it's kind of it's it's got an okay speed, but the fact of we're in Grand Theft Auto and you gave me a car with no protection. Not a lick of protection. And if I put the roll cage on and drive in first person, it's even worse cuz the roll cage is in my view of vision. So, yeah. This car is probably going to end up going to the scrapyard cuz it is garbage. But as you can see, this is mainly glitch and rat rods. A couple things in here that were just random because I had nowhere else to put them at the time. But this is where they sit. Moving on to the next garage. I now have my muscle garage, which I really don't have anything anymore because Rockstar decides they hate muscle cars with a passion for some reason, and they won't give us any. So, I've got my Vigoro, which was my first muscle car. Obviously, we didn't really have much of a choice, and this was one of the fastest ones when the game first came out. So, glitched it up with the matte paint, threw on some bright green pearlescent, made everything else chromed out, and that's basically how I used it. Worked fine for me for a good year and a half before they started introducing stuff. This is still probably my favorite muscle car out of the game just because of the looks, the style, and the driving ability are all top notch. It doesn't have the best traction, obviously, but it's nowhere near as terrible as the Mamba or the Coquettes. So, definitely my favorite still. Waiting for them to give me something better, but they haven't yet. Moving on to my Halloween hearse. Because obviously, like I said, I have to have all limited edition vehicles because why not if I'm not gonna do this for that purpose then why am I playing the game it's basically the only thing keeping me playing at this point because they're definitely not doing much to improve it at this time give me a couple planes that are just annoy me and nothing else so yeah obviously you can't see Frankie in the back because I've got the toolbox in the way but he's he's back there waving saying hi and Obviously, I've got the Frankenstein on the other side. Because Frankenstein is, again, limited time. Last year, Halloween, whatever it was, I kept it. It's been sitting here since. I think I drove it for a week with my face paint on to mess with people, and then it was just done. Moving on to the Nightshade. This car is awesome. This car is fantastic. But it's obsolete. Because what a surprise Rockstar loves making their vehicles obsolete like as soon as they put them out so they gave me the nightshade and then a week or two later they gave me the Mamba and it's just like cool as much as I like the nightshade the Mamba still handles better but the nightshade is not bad for racing I will tell you that this one on the other hand the blade the blade I only kept for demo purposes because good car to just beat the crap out of other cars with because I have a couple demo derbies from years ago that yeah once this car was integrated I put them up there and these things can take up a bunch of damage you beat the crap out of each other on a rooftop with these things and it's kind of fun if you're into derbies that is so many times have we had people just jump out of the cars and just run around and punch each other then you just hit them with the car and the random stray dog in the garage is my I think it's XLB or XMB or whatever it is it's the armored uh, SUV because I already got rid of my baller in that way 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 long ago I think this was the fastest SUV in the game at one point I don't know if it still is I just haven't used it because who the heck's gonna do an SUV race out of all these people now everyone wants supers motorcycles heck no one even wants to do truck races anymore I haven't done a hill climb in probably two and a half years so mm -hmm. All right. moving on to the next garage but, uh, we're on the last garage for part one so you know and it's gonna be some 
crappy, crappy lowriders. Yeah, I've got my saber, got my van, and all that stuff. Yeah, lowriders is going to be the last for this part. Make sure you stick around to part two, because part two is going to be nothing but motorcycles, heavy weapon vehicles, and supercars, because I have enough of those to fill an entire part two. So that's what we're going to do. So please feel free to stick around or jump ahead to that one. It should pop up afterwards, hopefully, if YouTube's algorithm works properly. This was, uh, yeah, moving on, but this was probably my favorite car out of the Little Riders just because of the design style and the fact that you can take the hood off because I like being able to look at my hood, like uh, the engine compartment and all that stuff. And all the other ones, you have to hit the stupid switch. But, yeah, I'd say if you like any of these vehicles or want to know anything, please feel free to like or comment in the sections. I'll, I'll try to help you if I remember the car or what I did to it because it's been a long time like I said I haven't done one of these showcase videos since I believe these cars came out that I'm looking at right now so it's been a long time it's definitely been a long time also don't buy this van the van sucks I do love the delivery I will give them that the livery looks fantastic but the van is terrible it is absolute terrible and for four and a half million dollars all done up it's definitely not worth it and of course, a couple more glitch bikes. That's the only bike you couldn't glitch was that one on the right. Because no matter what you did, it came in white. Uh, obviously got my slam van, which is a piece of garbage. Once you upgrade it to a lowrider, that thing loses all potential for anything. It becomes nice, like you can do more options to it, but it sucks for racing and it slides even worse than the original. So. That thing's probably going to be sold. I think all the cars in this garage are going to be sold, honestly, because I don't have the purpose of a lowrider at all. And the last one we have is basically what I consider the Ricky Mobile from Trailer Park Boys. If I ripped off the passenger door and put a hockey net on it and just beat up the car and painted it a crappy black and gray, yeah, it would probably be Ricky's car, so. Yep. That's all my cars for part one. So, please, like I said, stick around for part two, or you could even skip ahead to there now. You've seen my cars. You don't have to stick around, but please like or comment with any opinions you have on my vehicles, or even if you think I should keep any of them, because most of them are going to be end up going to the junkyard, because I'm sick of looking at them, and I need my money back. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.